welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, it seems like you've got the slowing down card over here and this is the, um, the Knight of Pentacles and this is about taking things very, very easily. You might be focusing a lot on your work at this moment and you just need to really buckle down and do things uh, and it seems like you know you are on the right path but even though things are not appearing to move very very quickly uh, you are going to achieve success with this particular card because it is the knight of pentacles so if it's finances that you're worried about it seems like you know with this uh, slowing down card you just need to take things one step at a time to get there so you've got the nothingness card over here and uh, this is about changing the way uh, things have been going for you. This is the Hierophant, really, uh, in the deck. And this is about learning a lot of lessons and changing your whole strategy in life. Uh, you know, looking at things from a very, very different point of view. Uh, there's a need for courage over here. And this is the eighth, um, the strength card, really. And this is about, although you've gone through very rocky circumstances, it looks like things are going to start moving on for you and things are going to grow. You've got this flower coming out from the rock over there. So even though you've gone through a really hard time, things will improve. They will blossom, they will bloom, but you just need to hang in there, especially with that slowing down card. And, uh, you know, take things one step at a time in order for it to move forward. Now in the past, you've got the Harmony card over here. So that's the end of a very, very difficult emotional situation and coming to terms with it, really, with that Harmony. So the Ten of Cups. You've got the Suppression, so you uh, suppression, which is the Ten of Wands, which is about being very, very isolated. You can see this person is in a almost like a box. There's a lot of darkness in the card and, you know, there's a lot of clouds. And it's, it's about being oppressed by somebody or being suppressed by somebody, not allowing to express yourself. But these are both ten, so those cycles are now coming to an end. Now going into the future, you've got the Playfulness card and you've got the Adventure card. So you're going to beginning, be beginning uh, something brand new. So these are two pages. You've got the Page of Wands over here and the Page of Pentacles. So whatever you're going to embark in, uh, as far as a new project goes, uh, you're starting off on this journey. You can see both of these are moving forward into the future. And, uh, you know, it's going to start bringing uh, success for you. So you are moving away from it. You can see moving away from that suppression, moving away from that harmony, and moving forward. So there's a need to go and have some fun out there and start something brand new, do something absolutely different. Um, you know, this is brand new beginnings for you. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm using the Anna K Tarot for this. Main read. bottom of the deck we've got the devil so you are still feeling very very negative about the situation there might have been somebody that you were dealing with or, or maybe still dealing with that is very very overbearing somebody who is very very uh, manipulative somebody who is very very controlling uh, you can see this person is trying to manipulate all these people it could be a very codependent relationship that you have something that you can't seem to get yourself out of at the moment there's a lot of drama in it as well um, you know and this person expects you to uh, you know almost worship them if you like um, so it seems like somebody is giving you quite a lot of grief and also you're feeling very very t uh, restricted very very tied up uh, you know and it's making you feel very very negative about the whole situation you could also well be dealing with a Capricorn person because this particular card, uh, you know, is about uh, uh, really rule, is ruled by the sign of Capricorn. The card at the bottom of uh, below it is Three of Pentacles, so this could be a work situation. The Devil is also a card that rules uh, is ruled by Saturn, so uh, you know this could be somebody at work that is giving you a lot of grief because you've got the Three of Pentacles below it. So it could be somebody that you're working with that uh, is causing you a lot of distress as well. Now you've got the Ace of Pentacles, so some new money coming in over here. You can see this woman's dug up a whole bunch of money. So maybe it hasn't been revealed at the moment, but it will be coming uh, to you because the Ace of Pentacles shows the influx of new money. <coughs> and it is from a work 
uh, scenario because you've got the world card and this is a card ruled by Saturn. It says that you should have some patience. Uh, you will have some kind of payoff that comes in uh, and it's going to bring in this new money for you with the world card. So in the past, you've got the Page of Cups over here, and this is about getting, uh, you know, maybe you receive some kind of support or messages. Uh, this is about having somebody, um, you know, maybe there's a, there was an apology that came in for you, but this is about getting some advice as well. You may have even embarked on some kind of new study with the Page of Cups. Uh, you can see this man's filling his cup. So some information that may have come to light that has changed the circumstance or the situation, or there might have been some kind of support that has come in for you in the last year. You've got the Nine of Cups over here, and this is the card of celebration, really. You can see these people having a good time over here. So this is, uh, you know, maybe something that you were wishing for or working on has now come to light and has now worked out for you in the last few months. It seems like there's a lot more happiness. There could have even been a celebration that you went through, maybe a wedding, some kind of celebration of that sort. You've got the Six of Pentacles over here, so you're still having a lot of financial problems over here and you're trying to sort it out. You might be thinking about asking somebody for some kind of financial assistance. You might even be thinking of taking out a loan with that particular card. Now, you've got the Six of uh, Rods over here, which is saying that, you know, going to the future, that all the hardships that you've gone through, you will be victorious over. This is the card of celebration. There's some kind of message coming in for you as well that's going to be very, very uplifting. And it's going to show, you know, you winning some kind of situation that you've been in, uh, involved in, some kind of problem, you're overcoming it. And you've got the Three of Cups over here. This is definitely a celebration card. This is also getting support from people around you, friends, or, you know, um, people that you can rely on. Uh, but definitely some kind of celebration coming in. And there's that victory card over there with that uh, Six of Rods. Now, you've got the Knight of Swords. You might have been dealing with a legal circumstance over here. And, you know, it was a very, very uh, upsetting uh, circumstance because you've got a lot of fire, this tree's on fire, you may have lost a lot of things as well. The Knight of Swords bringing in some kind of legal news, but it looks like you're going to be victorious in that particular, um, whatever that legal news is that is coming in, because you've got the Six of Rods next to it, sitting next to it. So whatever news is coming in, uh, it looks like it's going to be victorious because you've even got this Three of Cups as well. Now, on your mind, you've got the Nine of Swords, so you're really, really worried about whatever the outcome of this case is going to be. You're not sleeping as well, uh, well at night. Uh, you might be stressing a lot about the whole thing. Very, very anxious. Now, the going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Ace of Rods over here, the Queen of Cups, and the Five of Rods. So, uh, you're going to be getting be beginning something brand new over there with that ace of rods starting a new project over here um, this person's trying to find their balance uh, and you know taking that risk uh, in whatever this new project is that you're going to start it is going to probably be something uh, in the work scenario there's some messages coming in as well you've got this very nice yellow sky over here which is showing that they whatever you're going to start is going to be pretty successful you're, this is the queen of cups which is your card basically so this is about feeling very lonely and a bit depressed as well that cycle is coming to an end you've got the, um, the moon ending over there so whatever you're going through now is coming uh, to an end you are feeling a bit miserable about things maybe you're looking at the past quite a bit and thinking about things that you have not done so there's a bit of regret over there and a bit of disappointment over here and also feeling very very lonely very isolated uh, and there's a lot of problems that you've been through as well uh, you can see there's a lot of rocks that she's sitting in so very rocky life but it looks like whatever you're going to do is going to start being successful you've got some stars coming up over here in this card which is talking about you know recognition um, by lots of other people of whatever you've been through so whatever new project you start even though you're feeling a bit uh, despondent about it is going to be successful because that sky is quite yellow here and um, even though you're feeling a bit miserable it looks like it is going to be successful there is going to be a lot of competition however in it so you're going to have to you know um do your research, uh, defend yourself, and you are going to have to fight for what you want. This man's arm wrestling, so you're going to be, have to be really hands-on in this particular job or project that you're doing, and uh, you're going to have to, uh, you know, pull out all the stops, really, uh, because this is a card about, you know, showing that there is going to be a lot of competition. You might be even going for a new job, uh, and there might be a lot of people applying for that particular job, um, and, uh, you know, you're going to have to... Um, Bring, in, bring it out there, really. Um, you know, you're going to have to uh, 
show them that you can, you're capable of doing this particular job or you're capable of uh, working in this particular situation. Uh, you, you're a cut of, you're going to have to show them that you're a cut above the rest, really. So there's a lot of competition going on. Um, make sure you're doing your research and uh, you know that you have the edge over everybody else. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Angel Tarot. And this is the Oracle read. The first card is the Nine of Earth, which says enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So there is money coming in with this Nine of Earth, and that's going to make you quite financially independent as well. Um, and there's a lot of transformation that is going on. There might be some travel as well involved uh, in your work. You've got the Unity card over here. Um, this is traditional viewpoints, methods and uh, spiritual organizations seek out mentors or like-minded friends so the, this particular job might require you to do some further study or you might be taking on the role as a mentor or a teacher as well this is the hyphen card this is usually talking about uh, you know teaching or giving people um, knowledge but this is also about doing research this is about study as well so you might be involved in that with this particular new job that you're doing but it does allow you to walk away from a difficult circumstance and there's a desire to move on search for something meaningful so it looks like you're leaving something behind and you're going to make brand new beginnings this new uh, job or this new situation that you're going to be taking on is going to involve a lot more study but it's also going to bring in a lot more money as well for you and whatever legal circumstances you're going through it looks like there's a lot of victory because this particular card has got the six of rods uh, next to it and the three of cups next to it so uh, below it so it looks like there is going to be some kind of celebration from whatever this particular legal circumstances that you went through so you are stressing a lot about it but uh, it seems like you are going to be a winner and it's going to have a financial payoff because you are very very worried about money at the moment uh, but it looks like money is going to be coming in with that nine of earth over there so best of luck and I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching.